I'm going to use a FET simulation to go over the two most common versions of Dalton's Law. You could try the FET simulation by going to this URL, hitting play, and then choosing the ideal option. There are two versions. I'm going to go over one version at a time. I'm going to start with this, low, this lower choice here, this one right there. So what I'm going to have uh, is all these little red particles first. And what I'd like you to do is, as we're watching the simulation, Think about how these gas particles are behaving ideal in following the kinetic molecular theory postulates. I'm going to open up my particle counter uh, because I want to have exactly 50. So because I can't get exactly 50 that way, I'm just going to go like that instead and have just one more to have exactly 50 particles. The other thing that I'm going to do is I want this to be at standard temperature. So I'm going to cool this down to 273 and then hold the temperature constant. I don't want the volume to change and I don't want the temperature to change. So I'm going to have it at 273, which is zero degrees Celsius. And then I'm going to hold that constant. Next, just kind of watch what the pressure is doing as I cooled it. Um, you can see that it's a certain number of kPa, 101.325 kPa, kPa is 1 atm. The next thing I'm going to do is have a little collision counter. So I'm going to have a little count now. I'll do it like three times each, each time I change a variable. So again, we're looking at this version of Dalton's Law, which says if I have a certain number of moles, I have a certain pressure or vice versa. So right now I have 50 and about 5 ATM. Let me do two more pressure wall co collision counts, which again, pressure is collisions with the walls of the container. One more. Right, so this looks like a hover around 70 to 80, okay? Next, I'm going to up this to be 100, make a prediction of what you think is going to happen with the uh, pressure as I go from 50 to 100 particles. Keeping the temperature constant and keeping the volume constant. I'll do, oh, a collisions with the walls, the container count, which is the pressure. So about 170, so it looks like the collisions have doubled. And we'll do one more, approximately. And you can see that the pressure went up to about double also, about 10. Uh, remember, it was around 5. So that's this first version of Dalton's Law, which is that if I have more moles, I'll have more pressure. If I have less moles, I have less pressure. Let's do, do one more. Let's go up to 200. So again, make a prediction of what the pressure will go to, and that it's a direct correlation here. I'll check the collisions with the walls of the container. Again, we should see a doubling effect if this is true. And you should also see that the pressure, again, is double what it was before when it was 100. Okay, let's just do one more count. So that's the first uh, version of Dalton's Law. We'll move on to this one. This one means that we have to put two different gases in the container, which is very common. So the second version what I'm going to do is go back down to there being only 50 of the red ones. And I'm going to add in exactly 50 of the purple or blue. I think I'll just call them blue from now on. Volume staying the same and temperature staying the same. Make sure you watch and say, are they obeying the kinetic molecular theory postulates? So are they moving in straight lines with elastic collisions, moving randomly, not having any intermolecular forces? Their size is small compared to the volume of the container. Uh, last but not least, their average movement, as you can see, some are moving faster or slower, but on average, the temperature is 273. So those are the kinetic molecular theory postulates that we have to obey. They are also moving in straight lines and colliding with the walls of the container. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can see that's around 10. So it's like I have red ones and blue ones, but they're each at 5 atm. Let me take out all the red ones and show you that, again, we have only, you know, only blue right now, and the total is, again, around 5. So if I add in, Again, 50 red ones, I get a doubling effect, so I get 5 plus 5 equals the total of 10. So let's add um, 50 more of the, of the you know, bluish ones. So then again, we're saying we kept this one the same, this is the red, and now we have double the amount of the purple, so we should get around 15, which we're seeing. I will do the exact same thing with the red ones in just a second. Go back down and up that. So now I have 100 of each. So I should have more pressure. So again, that's around 10 atm plus 10 atm equals 20 atm. You can also have some other version like 6040, but I thought I'd keep it really simple with this video and just do, you know, up by 50 to 100 to 200. 
So if you want, you could even again make this two, you know, 200 and this 200. You can see that right now we're going to start to probably deviate from ideal behavior. There, the particles are becoming much, you know, closer together, and so their collisions are maybe not as as, as elastic as they used to be. Maybe the intermolecular forces are coming into play. And the fact that their size doesn't look as negligible anymore. So we might not see that exact effect. So again, if we keep it down to a smaller amount, go back down to just 50 and 50, we should kind of follow the ideal behavior better. Okay? So there's your two versions of Dalton's Law. Again, the first one is when you have only, you know, one, technically the moles related to pressure of the same kind of gas. So that was this one one more time. And then the second version would be, what if I add in another particle? Let's just add in again 50 of the, of the blue ones. That's this version where the total pressure of the red plus the total pressure of, of the blue, or the, what it's called the partial pressure, I should say. The partial pressure of the red plus the partial pressure of the blue equals the total pressure of the whole thing. Okay, That's it. So hopefully that helps when we move on to the calculations.